Hello and welcome on our virtual booth on the MATLAB Expo. In this short video, we want to introduce you how you can make use out of MATLAB and Simulink and integrate those into our Trinket 3 environment and execute Simulink and MATLAB in hard real time on industrial proven hardware. For this, I invited Mark, Angel, and Onat from company Magway. So they will do the major work for me, and I will act as the moderator. So, Mark, can you introduce us what you realize with backoff technology? Thank you, Fabian. Magway is a zero emissions delivery system. We deliver goods, so that's groceries, packages, parcels, etc an industry standard one meter pipe, which you can just see there in our video. We're really driven by decarbonizing logistics in the supply chain, and we can achieve that by reducing uh, up to 90% of the heavy goods vehicles, goods vehicles in general, on our roads today. There's huge benefits from that, obviously, um, considering the carbon element alone, so exhaust emissions drastically reduced, all the additional emissions which are reduced from exhaust, so that's the carbon monoxide, nitrous oxides, uh, particulates, brake dust, tire wear, uh, tire dust, etc. And um, there's also, of course, uh, the reduced congestion on the roads. In terms of where Beckoff helped us with this, um, Beckoff as a platform is so deep and wide, we can really just focus on our problem, which is solving uh, solving this decarbonisation of logistics instead of uh, creating our own tools, designing our own hardware. It's in a single place, and we know that we can then deliver this solution on the same hardware that we're developing on. Well, that sounds very amazing. Thank you for those insights. Can you uh, maybe highlight some, some aspects, how, how you realize this is really a uh, fantastic application, maybe also uh, from, from a more technology aspect? Sure, yeah, I'd love to, thank you. So the, the core of our technology, the core of our intellectual property lies in our ability to really accurately control uh, linear synchronous motors without direct position feedback. And that's really important to us because our, our synchronous motors are driving our carriage. Our carriage is passive. It has a magnet array on the bottom. Uh, so when we're moving our goods, the energy that we're spending is moving the goods from point A to point B. We're not wasting energy moving a fuel source such as a a fuel tank full of gas or, or diesel or a battery. We're not moving a motor. We're not moving any of the additional systems that you'd need to support those things. We're just moving the goods. And this is how we achieve uh, such amazing efficiency. In terms of, there's some really cool numbers around Mag Magway, which I'd just like to share to you, with you as well. In our main trunks, we're running at 15 meters per second. Uh, uh, that's a nominal speed, so we do, we do go a bit quicker and we have a headway that's nose to nose uh, uh, in time of 66 milliseconds. So as these carriages are zipping by at 15 meters per second, uh, there's about a meter between them. Uh, it's pretty cool. To help you visualize what that means in terms of the volume of goods that we move, uh, a single pipe, a single magway pipe in a day uh, can move the same volume of goods as 3000 articulated goods vehicles. Well, wow, that's um, amazing technology. Thank you for this, Mark. I'm really looking forward to, to see your system moving my packages in the near future. So let's move uh, on and Angel, um, maybe you can explain us a little bit more about the role of Simulink software in the realization process of this really amazing and huge project. Yeah, sure. So our goal is to eventually run our entire control system from uh, through a Simulink model, and that will include a feed forward term and a feedback term, which will allow us to sense the position of the carriage uh, without the use of any encoders. I think as Mark really briefly explained, our work started with a model uh, that came from before Magway was even created. And that's a model of a discontinuous stator linear synchronous motor uh, with both electrical and mechanical components. What we've done is taken some of this model and uh, built up the rest of our control system around it. And that really forms the core of our control strategy. On the other side of the workflow, we're also using MATLAB and Simulink for data analysis. So we design our control system uh, in Simulink, deploy it into Twinkat, and then um, run the data we collect from running our model back through Simulink. And that allows us to test different permutations to tune the model 
And as you can imagine, that has massive productivity gains. We're also using Simulink and MATLAB uh, in conjunction with Python to do some really, really thorough unit and integration testing. And that's really helped to improve the robustness of our system. Well, that sounds very, very interesting. Uh, thank you for this. Can you also give us a little bit more insight uh, on how you use then the target for Simulink to bring it down on our controllers and how this accelerates your engineering time? Maybe you can also highlight some aspects of what you think are the, the highlights of this back of product, the target for Simulink. Yeah, so I think the, um, the, the biggest plus from our side has been the really quick development loop. We're able to design in Simulink, deploy a model to Twincat, and then test, analyze, and repeat it really, really quickly. And that kind of lends itself to, our, to the very agile workflow uh, we adopt at Magway. Also in the Beckhoff controller, we can observe and modify parameters online. So that speeds up our development process and allows us to tune some parameters. And the entire integration is great because it supports our two main sort of, uh, approaches in the engineering team. And that's a data-driven approach and also a collaborative teamwork approach. The integration allows us to, uh, allows a really good workflow between our MATLAB engineers and our Beckhoff engineers. Well, that's of course very nice to hear that the target for Simulink is in use in your project and in this, such a very fascinating project. Thank you, Angel, for these insights. Onat, let us leave a little bit the, the Simulink zone and also come to the back of system in, in total. So you basically use a cross section of all back of components. And I would love to hear how you use the back of system in total and how this helps you to realize this application. Yeah, of course. I mean, right to start, uh, our demonstrator track has over a hundred drives, lots of IO modules and devices controlled by a single back of IPC, and of course, Twincat software running in it. So early on, we decided to driven by data. So we have worked hard to automate the recording of everything, like experiment configurations, IO configurations, data coming back from our drives environmental data, simply everything we can collect and record, and we are still recording them. So when we are talking about high bandwidth data collection with sub-millisecond cycle times, with common timestamps, Ethercat and powerful IPC combination become best solution for our application. So we have real confidence in the quality of our data as a result. Backoff system also allows us to integrate safety in a single platform which has also reduced our engineering development effort. We already had a distributed Ethercat network through our track and also Twincat software to control it. So adding safety IO around the track and TwinSafe into our control system was very straightforward. So we don't need to learn any other software packages or platforms so we can focus on developing Magway technology. Simply, it's an open and flexible platform that allows us to integrate everything with simplicity. Well, thank you very much. Um, can you maybe point to a very specific aspect of the back of system that for you really makes a difference? Yeah, sure. As a team, we work collaboratively and we have a data-driven approach. So having a powerful back of IPC supports our approach. So our system is controlling more than 100 drives, lots of IO and additional sensors and devices, as well as more than 100 TC COM objects, which is our Simulink model. Also, as I mentioned before, we have built high bandwidth data acquisition system, which is deriving feedback from all devices with common timestamp. So combining all that control system and data acquisition on the same platform means it's very easy to get high fidelity and volume feedback during the development phase. So as we are using IPC and a standard operating system, we are able to run our scripts on the data for analysis for further processing. We also use MATLAB to post-process data collected on it for deeper analytics as well. So as a result, we collaborate around the single powerful open and flexible platform and watching everything we need in, re in real time, which is great. Well, thank you, Onat, for 
all these kind, kind words on the back of system in total. So I hope you and also we uh, will enjoy Backoff's new automation technology system also in the next few thousands of track kilometers that you're going to build. So, next few thousands of kilometers of the tracks, that's your keyword, Mark. Can you please have, uh, give us a, um, an idea about your future plans? I sure can. Thank you, Fabian. Um, in the short term, uh, we've got lots of really fun projects happening in the engineering team. As Angela and Ona have spoken about, we're really keen on data and we, were re we made sure that we made that a sort of key tenet of the way we engineer from the very beginning. We've run over 400 kilometers on our demonstrator track just in the last few months. And we collect data at around a megabyte per second per carriage and that, you know, that value increases with some speed. So we're sitting on uh, uh, an increasingly large pile of uh, well-categorized high fidelity data and of course we're, we're going to have lots of fun with that so the kind of things we're looking at now is incorporating some traditional condition monitoring and we're, we're going to be training some neural nets and and seeing what we can uh, mine in the in the in the high fidelity uh, data that we get back to actually run our control loop for, for our linear synchronous motor we're looking to see if we can see artifacts in that data uh, to replace a traditional uh, vibration sensor or microphone or even thermal Im imaging so we've got lots of fun projects uh, as an engineering team in the short term. And uh, I'm, I'm really pleased to say that uh, commercially this year, we've also signed our first multi-million pound contract uh, with a global company. So we're starting to deliver. So this is where the thousands of kilometers of track comes in, Fabian. Um, we're really excited to have this uh, first customer and client. And we're, you know, we're, we're, um, we're hoping to get going pretty soon, actually. We've got a site identified in the UK. We're laying out plans for that. And uh, you know, we're taking a lot of the uh, engineering uh, knowledge that we're building uh, in our team, and we're deploying it on that. So uh, I would say watch this space, but it's all underground. So you won't be able to see it. Yeah, me also. I really, really would love to, to see it also here in Germany. And yeah, thank you all three of you uh, for this very nice conversation about your uh, really fascinating project. Thank you very much also to our viewers. And yeah, thank you and see you on the platform of the MATLAB Expo. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Fabian. Bye. Thank you.